Hi, in today's module we're going to go over a quick overview of SEO Quake, which is a really great tool for SEO research and a competitive analysis tool that you can use to check up or check on competitors that are currently in your niche. So the add-on is called SEO Quake and it's for Firefox, so go ahead and get that now. Um, again, that's SEO Quake, which you can just type into the browser and you should be able to download it. So once you get that up, we're going to do a little demonstration. I'm currently working on a website for a client. It's a real estate website and her demographics are in DuPont. So the keyword I'm going to be using to optimize her page is DuPont Homes for Sale. So I go ahead and type that into the browser, DuPont Homes for Sale, and then this is what comes up in the results. And as we can see here, the number one that comes up is DuPont Real Estate Homes for Sale by Trulia and then the second one is Luxury Real Estate and Homes for Sale. One quick note I want to make is KR right here which is stands for page ranking. Now many people think that the higher the page rank the better your search engine ranking would be but not necessarily. What page ranking is mostly used for is to tell Google the authority of your website not necessarily whether you rank better than your competitor. So as you can see is that you have a PR2 site which is the number one result and then you have a PR5 site which is the number two result which is this one right here. So you can see it's not a direct correlation on your search engine ranking. With SEO Quake you can also view how many pages are indexed by Google, Yahoo, Bing. Um, as you can see Trulia has no index pages currently on this one. Google has not indexed any of these pages as well. There's currently the really good thing about SEO Quake is you can check the number of backlinks pointing to a website, which is really important for off-page optimization. So you have two optimizations for SEO. You have your on-page and you have your off-page. Now, while on page is really good you get most of the benefit from off page optimization or the number of backlinks pointing to a specific page on your website <coughs> your page is not your website in holds does not get ranked it's the pages on your website that gets ranked and that's another note you guys should take down so if you want to see how many backlinks Trulia has for this result right here so if you go ahead and click on this link right here and it comes up as there's 12 backlinks pointing to it and we can see that these are the pages pointing to it and this is really important to see the backlinks to see the quality of the backlinks that are pointing to their site so they have a backlink from the Yahoo directory or Gimpy or DMoz or business.com then you're going to have a really hard time trying to compete with them in the search engine simply because the backlinks from those directories or sites are really good quality and they're quite expensive to get into. For instance, business.com directory I think is about $299 a year. The Yahoo directory is $300 a year and it's recurring. So if you want to build your site ranking then you're really going to need to invest in some really good directories. <clears throat> and many times you'll see a lot of sites with really junk directories for instance there will be they'll have a lot of links pointing from link farms and I don't suggest you guys start going out and posting your link everywhere because it could get it, your site could get uh, de-indexed simply because you posted your link on some spammy site even without the intention of you really trying to do that but it, that, that's just what happens so, for instance, we see this one, DuPont Registry, and if we go to Info, which is right here, we can see that they have close to 2,000 backlinks. Now, we want to check the quality of this backlink, so we go to click on that icon right there, and then it quickly shows us the backlinks and what they are and all that. And another tool you can use is Backlink Analyzer by Aaron Wall. It's really good. It's more in-depth. It shows you a lot more info, and I suggest using that for now. So that's it for today, and um, stay tuned for the next module. Thanks.